gosh, there's a bunch of y'all in there. Well, I know that, uh, I don't know if we're doing this in order or not, but, uh, you know, I know that you hope the baby y'all would come with us. Okay, I know. Uh, but she's here. Alright, Drew, bring baby y'all. Kathy, I didn't call for you yet. <laughs> Put her up here. She has her own agents, and she is a celebrity. But, but she's good. She's really good. And yeah, yeah, she's got her own bottle head. And you know, she's real fussy now. She wants chicken nuggets nonstop and everything. But uh, let me just tell you this story, Mark. And you've heard me say this a bunch of times. But I really believe this. Definition of coincidence, an everyday occurrence in which God chooses to remain anonymous. And I believe that with all my soul. I also believe things like this. You know, the definition of committee is a bunch of individuals that individually could never accomplish much of nothing. But collectively, they can go together and decide nothing can be done. So at the end of the day, I'm not a real fan of committees. I'm a fan of you, and I mean that. I'm a fan that you make decisions every day. You gotta make a decision. And you're making a decision that generally impacts a child. And that absolutely can't possibly be an obligation, a duty, an honor better than that. Now look, we've got a lot, a lot of dignitaries that are here that are involved in communities and schools and the work you've done is next to unbelievable. You know, Kathy and I came into being a few years back and then it was Kathy's thought that this was something that she could really relate to. You know, she loves kids beyond good sense, She's as kind as kind could possibly be. You know, it, uh, she's remarkable in lots and lots and lots of ways. So all of a sudden, Kathy says to me, he says, what do you think about this? And I said, Kathy, I, I don't know much about it, but really and truly, I think that if it's doing great stuff for kids, it's helping us at our schools, there's no no alert effort, so off we go. Now, with all that being said, it took money. You know, the first thing that I did is I said, "Well, just take my salary, and we'll start with that. We we'll go, and slowly but surely, we add a few counties, and then a few more, and then all of a sudden we awaken to something that is unbelievable. It really just caught." And off we went. And I say we because I want to some way be connected to something that's as good as this has been. 
But really, we didn't have a lot to do with it. Because you, and way more than you, in every way, Kathy was the biggest cheerleader under the sun. And the job and work that she's done, all of us, will forever be grateful. Now, I mean it with all my soul. And I don't, I don't sit around and blow smoke up people's behind or do anything. I don't have time for that at all. I just tell the truth. And there's plenty of things that I can tell you that Kathy does that absolutely are probably the most amazing things that I have ever seen. And I mean that not in a good way. I mean that in a funny way that she has done to me. I go back to a little girl with her hair that was longer than down to her butt. And I was at 12 Pole Creek in, in right outside of Marshall. I, I, you know, I don't know if it was Capitol County or Mingo County. It was in the dead middle of the winter. And my buddy and I had gone to Guyandot and got river eels, which are little teeny snakes about that long. And that's what we were fishing with. And the water was solid mud, and it was cold as blue blazes, and we weren't catching the thing in the sun. And Kathy was with us, because Kathy just wanted to go, and she wanted to go all the time, everywhere. And all of a sudden, I said, Gary, my buddy, his name's Gary Dean, I said, Gary, we're not going to catch anything, but let me take the rest of the little river eels, and I won't turn them loose. And there was an old dilapidated boat dock there that was falling in in every way. And so I went out on that so the little river eels would be turned loose out in the water. And as I was bent over on the dilapidated boat dock, with running solid mud, mud bottom, 10 foot deep, dead middle of the winter, and as I turned the little, little river eels loose, I felt this person push me from behind. And I was going head first into the guide dock, or the guy, not guide dock, the 12 pole creek, creek in the solid mud. And as I was going head first in, naturally what you would do is just throw your hand back. And when I did, all I did was grab hair. And when I went this way, then my arm went this way, and Kathy went right that way. The next thing I heard was Kathy come up after, after we both had gone under and came up, and I heard her yell, Jim, I can't swing it. <laughs> well, don't y'all think this kind, wonderful, beautiful lady is not, she's, she's mean at times. <laughs> no, absolutely, she's great, and, uh, and we've been together 73,000 years now. <laughs> and it's been really good. But now listen, and listen to me. Everything starts with an idea. I'll promise you just this. You've never seen a governor like me. You probably never will see another one like me. We walked in the door and we were as bankrupt as bankrupt could be. Communities and schools, same kind of story. There was an idea. There was somebody, not a committee. There was somebody with an idea, with a passion to really get behind it and really, really make it go. And then with all that, then along came you. And all of a sudden now you've got the ball and you're running it in every direction and you're doing great, great, great stuff. Listen, now it's graduated in 55 counties. For crying out loud, I think it's 270 schools, over 100,000 kids, and absolutely every single one of them, just about, is a moment that if you really use it as an example, you'll cry. You'll cry. Absolutely, you know, Jim Balbano at one time said, you know, I think three things you should try to do every day is, is come to something that is a genuine, real thought, and then bring yourself to laughter or a smile, and then bring yourself to a tear. 
where you cry. Every day, if you've done that, you've had, in his words, a hell of a day. You know, really and truly, you have it happened over and over and over and over. I want you to just do this for me because she deserves it more than you'll ever know. Because she drives me crazy about how can we do this, and how can we do that, and how can we do this, how can we get more money in communities and schools, and we have absolutely put in tens of millions of dollars, and the results are one thing. Remember I said a minute ago, Jim Justice does not blow smoke at anybody. He doesn't. But this is the God's truth, and Jim dies right this second. I have been in school so much, it is unflat believable. I have been a coach forever and ever and ever. Five months out of the year, I'm in the schools all day for all practical purposes. Now, not really, but I am in the schools multiple hours, five days a week, plus Saturday, six days, plus all the other times that I'm in the schools doing everything else that I'm doing. Never, never, never has Jim Justice seen a program that works like this. Never. And the only way it works is you. That's all there is to it. You deserve so much credit, it's unbelievable. This is a home run of home runs of home runs of home runs. You got to keep going. I'm not going to be your governor forever. Kathy's not going to be your first lady forever. In fact, it's very, very short lived. You've got to make sure that your legislatures absolutely believe just as much as I believe, or Kathy believes. Because this is the real deal. You know, when you change that life and you put them on the right path by just doing the, the smallest of things, but you're there for them. You're there for them. Absolutely, when you do that, not only do you change that life and make things so much better, but you're doing something that affects all the other kids in the class. You're doing stuff that affects all, all the things about the school, the community, and on and on. You should be really proud. And I'm telling you, everybody needs a leader of the band. And in this situation, that little girl that shot me in 12 Hole Creek, the little girl that, in all honesty, when I couldn't figure out what was wrong with my feet, and I thought I had a fungal infection, and I went all over the, the country to figure out what was wrong. And then Kathy said, in an admission mission of, of, of guilt, she said, Jim, I know what's wrong with your feet. And I said, what's that, Kathy? She said, you know, the other night, you know, when I put that lotion on your feet and everything, she said, I, I do that from time to time because of this neuropathy. And she said, Jim, I put tanning lotion on your feet. <laughs> I've been to Johns Hopkins. I've been all over the place. So absolutely, this little innocence, don't buy it. But be really, really proud, as I am. And Kathy, you've done a way little job. And for all of you that have supported her and all these great people that are right here and on and on and on, and Scott and everything, all of them that have done Great, great work in support of what she's trying to do here. I thank you. And for all the community and schools folks, I really thank you all that as well. And Randall, God, you've been great. You've been great beyond belief. You've driven us all completely crazy. I know that you are the greatest of the greatest. So please give her an unbelievable round of applause, and I'm going to hand it back to her.
letting me come here today and be a part of you. We have such a big crowd here today. Uh, you know, communities and schools, it all boils down to every child in the school needs one caring adult who cares about them. And that's you all. That's the site coordinators of the school. You all make this program go. If it weren't for you all and your caring, it wouldn't be what it is today. Um, everyone in this room, you all have washed clothes at school. Um, you have uh, gotten a child out of class who doesn't feel well. You have collected food on Fridays to put in backpacks for them to take home so they'll have food to eat over the weekends. Um, you know, people, um, people don't know that that's what you do, but you care. And these children in the schools, they know who you are in the schools. They know who to come and talk to you. And you all have such a rapport with the children that they come and tell you their needs or what's wrong with them. And you all find a solution to their problem. You all go out in the community and you all help them find what they need. You have such support. Like uh, you all even get graduation gowns year after year and keep them for children who can't afford to buy them. Prom dresses. You know, these are things that everyone would think of, but you do this, toiletry items. Um, but, you know, just know for the children to know that you all are there and that they can come to you and ask you anything that they need to and any help that they need. We have some really special guests today from the National Office. I'd like to recognize Mr. Bill Milligan over here. He's the, the father of us all. This is great. Bill, we're so glad that you, you all can come today. Um, Donna Weiss and Michael Tung. Seven years ago, we had a, vi a vision with students to try to get the students of West Virginia to give them a wider vision of their life and hope for the future. You know, there's so many children who feel like that they are um, that they'll never get to do what they want in life, or they don't have the ambition or the courage or the support to go and do what they want. We're, we're here to make that happen. I tell them all the time, I want you to shoot for the stars. Do anything you want to do. You can be a teacher, you can be a doctor, you can be a beautician, you can be a uh, speech therapist. It doesn't matter what it is. You can be a mechanic. A, a truck driver, you know, work in the coal mines, you know, just have some ambition in life that you want to do and pursue that. It may take a little bit of time, but you can do it. Um, we would, we started this seven years ago. It was an idea that, uh, that the county that we're originally from was Greenbrier County. And they had originally started communities and schools. It was in a small way and just beginning. And uh, so we wanted, you know, uh, I'd been approached by some people that how good that it was going in the county. And I really wasn't involved in it at that time and didn't know. So uh, I, that's where I got the idea. And it, it's been a wonderful idea. It's been just a great, great idea. So I talked to Michelle Blatt. And Michelle will be here tomorrow, and uh, she was the assistant superintendent at that time. Well, Michelle started the ball rolling in the education department, and we set up, you know, how it should be, and you know, just how it would function and run. And she started laying the groundwork for communities and schools. Um, we, she did this, and now she is the state superintendent in schools. We've gone through a couple of superintendents. That she has been with us all the way through and certainly has done a wonderful job and that we just owe her a lot for this. Uh, we have some regional coordinators that do a wonderful job. We couldn't do without them. They are just super in their own way. Carla Snell, Jonathan Paul, Ashley Ellis. We all stand up as I read your names in. Carla, Jonathan, oh, right here. Jenny Rabbit, Brittany Hawkins, Beach, and also Cynthia Sorsay. 
My mom, First Lady Kathy Justice, created the Friends with Paws initiative three years ago to put therapy dogs in West Virginia schools. As you can see, my friends are spreading joy all across our wonderful state. Each one of these therapy dogs are highly trained and professional. My buddies know how to interact with children and put a smile on their faces. My mom started Friends with Paws in partnership with communities in schools, and the program has been a huge success. There are now 28 therapy dogs in West Virginia, and they are providing unconditional love to children facing tough situations in the classroom. My friends are making every student and teacher happier and more confident. Friends with Paws is all about love, friendship, and helping students learn and thrive. Here's my mom, our first lady, Kathy Justice. Take it away, mom. I want to thank you all so much for uh, accepting the dog. The dog, uh, you all know, his name is Cole, which was wonderful. And I'm so glad that y'all named him that. They relate to the dogs. I mean, they just, uh, they don't feel intimidated. The dogs, as we all know, they're never in a bad mood. You know, they're always happy and glad to see you. And uh, that's what we want. We just want to build a real bond and a real connection to these children. Can you imagine? This is the only statewide therapy dog program in America. And it's making a big, big impact in the lives of so many deserving children. I'm so proud of my mom for bringing friends with paws to West Virginia. Friendship, compassion, love, support, and fun are so important to young children. And that's why my mom brought friends with paws to West Virginia. Thank you for taking time to meet my buddies. I've got one more thing that I'd like you to do. Everybody, please stand up. Now, give my mom the biggest round of applause you've ever given. that we're here, so you have that to really look forward to. All right, thank you guys. 